Good afternoon, everyone. It's Monday and I'm going to show you a stamp set which is in the on the retiring list at a very good price. So it's called Seaside Bay. It's been reduced to £10 and the dies have been reduced to £12.80. So it's got a crab, um, a bird and three baby birds, a mussel, a shell and other little shells which have dies to go with them and some really nice um, sentiments as well. The dies are only £12.80. There are a lot of dies. So we live in the Wirral, which has uh, a lot of these seabirds on the shore when you go for a walk in the evening. Uh, this is a torn edge and then you've got an oyster shell and you've got um, a pearl as well. Uh, somewhere. <laughs> I seem to have misplaced my pearl. Uh, I did have a pearl, but anyway, I've got a bird and through the, that's for the stamp with the bird and the babies. And then the starfish, I think, actually might be from another set. Um, and then you've got one, two, three, four shells and you've got a large piece of seaweed and a small piece of seaweed and then that cuts out um, a small shell as well. Um, and it does have a pearl, but I seem to have misplaced. It does have a circle uh, to cut out uh, that little, that pearl just there. Uh, I seem to have misplaced mine. It will probably turn up somewhere. Um, so I'm just going to put those away and then and put that away to find the set that it goes with. So. Um, if you don't have another Stampin' Up! demonstrator, my host code um, for this month is 2QJK2HHW. And if you decide to order through me and choose me as your demonstrator, then please could you use that postcode? Thanks very much. So this is the card and I've used blending brushes to do the background, some die cut uh, designer series paper there. And then you've got the birds which I've coloured in with a blender pen. So first of all, we're going to do the background. So for this, I'm going to grab a silicone mat and put my piece of basic white cardstock down. And I'm going to start with the sky. I used balmy blue in the first card, but this time I'm going to use um, pool party instead. So I'm just going to check that I haven't got too much ink on here. And then I'm going to um, put it like that so you can see what I'm doing. And then I'm just going to pick up some ink, put some ink on the mat first because I don't want it to be too strong. Oops. But because I just want it as a background sky. Looks like a windy day from what I'm doing here. Uh, blender Bren pens are great to get a really lovely background. So there we go, that's the sky. And then I'm going to take crumb cake to do the beach. So I've got um, a, blends, a blender pen, a blender brush, blending brush I should say, um, that is for browns uh, and neutral colours like that. So I'm just going to turn this around and then I'm going to do the sand as it were with the crumb cake. I think I've had a bit of pecan pie on this brush so it's coming out a bit more of a red tinge than it normally would with crumb cake, but I'm, I'm happy with that. So the next thing I need to do is to stamp the shells. There's a really nice little shell stamp here, which you, you could use for all sorts of cards. So I'm just going to put them like this, which are love. that's a lovely background to put the birds on. Um, and then I'm just going to take some Stampin' Dimensionals because the mother bird and I think it's a mother bird. Could be a daddy bird taking the babies for a walk. But anyway, whatever. One of the parents is taking the baby birds off somewhere. Like ducks following in a line, really. So that one's going to go there. And then I'm going to stick the little ones on with Tombow. With my trusty Tombow. So just a little bit of Tombow on there. You only need a tiny bit of Tombow when you're sticking one there, one there, and one more. You could just put two birds if you wanted to, but the, it's lovely because the dies actually uh, cut out three. So actually I'm going to have to move this one, put that one there, and put that one just there. And then we've got our three birds. So I've actually chosen different colours for the background of this card. Uh, because I just went through my um, designer series paper and this is where having lots of different designer series paper is really good because you can just pick out one that you inspires you at, on the, at the moment. On the moment, I should say. In the moment, perhaps I should say. So um, my Tombow seems to be running out. But I'm just going to give it a good shake 
and hopefully there we go it's coming out rapidly now which is sometimes what happens so i'm going to stick that to knight of navy background piece line it up like that whoops just got some tombow there on my glass mat so i'm going to get my cloth and just wipe that off i put it here that's the wonderful thing about this glass mat you can just get any bits like that straight off and it doesn't affect your stamping. So now I'm going to stick this to here, like that, and then nice on the back of this one as well, but I wanted the, the blue with the green in it to just stick on the card. Knight of Navy card base, and then I've just got some pieces of seaweed that I'm going to stick on here. So this was the original designer series paper actually that come, came with the, um, with the bundle uh, as part of the suite. So I'm just going to stick one in there and then I'm going to put one the other way around so that it's got a bit of a contrast colour and I'm going to put that just there. There we go, just make sure those stick down nicely. And then I've got one more stamp to do. Um, thank you for everything. And I'm going to do that in the Knight of Navy. So I'm just going to grab that from here. And do thank you for everything. So this is just a really quick and easy card if you had this set. Thank you for everything. And there it is. And that's the finished card. Got a bit of, uh, I've got a, a razor that will take that bit of glue off. So there's the finished card. So thanks for watching and I hope you have a really good day. Bye.